In today's video, we're going to show you how to access the hearing test without any extra app or software and how you can do it straight in um, iOS 18.1. So if you don't have 18.1, uh, you will have to wait till October the 28th when Apple releases it. Once you update it, your AirPod Pro 2s will now be um, unlocked to where you can, well, your phone will be unlocked to where now it can do the hearing test. And I'm gonna walk you through those steps today. And then we're also gonna talk about why testing is important and why maintaining your test results is important in regards to hearing loss. In the meantime, let's jump right on in and go through the step-by-step -step process of what you need to do to get everything set up and actually how to do a test. So let's first start with looking at your iPhone. First, you wanna make sure that your software is up to date. So go to your, your iPhone settings, and then after you click on your iPhone settings, you're gonna click on general. You're gonna, going to click on software update up at the top. And if you still have 18.0.1, you do not have the correct software. You need 18.1. Right now, when I jump into my iPod Pros, like there's nowhere on here to do a test. Again, I have version 7A305. It should be up here at the top is where you're actually gonna see it, but it's not showing because I have not downloaded the new iOS software. You need 18.1 and that's what we need to download. Apple's gonna make it available on October the 28th of 2024. What you're gonna need to do is download 18.1. And once you've downloaded 18.1, it is gonna take some time to, uh, to install, but once you have installed it, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into our iPod Pro 2s. And then once we jump into our iPod Pro 2s, you're gonna notice right underneath uh, your transparency, your noise controls like transparency and everything it is going to have a, a hearing health option. And in that hearing health option, you, again, you have hearing protection, hearing assistance, and take a hearing test. So you're actually gonna click on take a hearing test. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna start to walk you through a few screens. So let's go through uh, each of those screens. We're gonna get started. It is gonna ask, again, are you 18 years or older? Um, if I click no, it's just going to say, hey, uh, this test is only for those that are 18. So I'm going to click yes, because I am. If you are currently experiencing any issues with sinus infection, allergies, cold, um, it is going to say, hey, wait till those things clear up because your test results could be wrong, not be as accurate. And then again, the last one is, hey, have you had any loud noise exposure? Again, have I gone to a concert? If I click yes, uh, Apple does recommend that you just wait 24 hours. You can um, have temporary hearing loss, and that temporary hearing loss can take some time for your hearing to, to come back. Um, if it doesn't come back, then you definitely need to see a specialist to make sure that you haven't damaged your hearing. That's why it's important to wear ear protection at concerts. We're gonna click next and jump straight into the test. My AirPod Pro 2s now just um, started the noise cancellation. You're gonna click next. Um, again, you do wanna make sure your AirPod Pro 2s are placed in your ears correctly, that there's no um, leakage from outside sounds. And then once you've got them seated correctly, um, Apple will do a test. And they're gonna go through and just play some music to see if there is any sound leaking out of your ears. Okay, the fit looks good. Um, if you're not getting a good seal, then you might have to change um, your, your tips. So you do have a, a pair of tips that you can switch to. It might be something larger or smaller that you need to jump to. If you still are having an issue, you can get custom molds that these AirPods can snip, um, that they can go into at uh, an audiology clinic or hearing aid clinic um, that does ear molds. Um, we're gonna click next. It tells me put do not disturb on, which we've already done. That way we don't get interrupted while we do the test. And then now what's gonna happen is you're gonna hear different frequencies. Um, if I play a sample in one of my ears, I'm gonna hear it go beep, beep, beep. Um, and as you're going through the test, you're not gonna hear the same beeping all the time. It is gonna change frequencies on you. So just be aware of that. Um, and again, you're just trying to hear that, that beep, 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 and that's when you're pressing the button. So here we go, we're gonna click next, and now we're starting the test. You will notice your progress right here. We're testing the left ear. Okay, so we're all finished. You saw it complete the circle. Now we're gonna jump to the right ear. Beep. 
All right, once you are finished, it's actually gonna show you your results. So here it's gonna show your left ear, your right ear. There's articles you can click on. There's, there's other information you can go to. Um, if I click on show details, okay, now it's gonna show the audiogram. Um, it does look like it's a little bit different than when I had test, uh, done this test earlier. Red is the right ear, blue is the left. As we scroll down, um, again, it's just giving me a little bit more information. I can click on the little eye. It's gonna go through and explain, okay, this is considered little to no loss. Any from, anything from zero to 20 decibels is considered normal hearing. Once we hit 25 decibels and higher, then we start to develop hearing loss. So mild hearing loss is about 20, 25, 26 to 40. Moderate loss is 41 to 60. Severe loss is 61 to 80. Profound loss is 81 decibels or more. So remember that this, um, these AirPods working as an over-the-counter type device um, is, for moder uh, is for mild to moderate hearing loss. So if your hearing loss is greater than that, these will not be hitting target. And it could be these might not hit target um, compared to like traditional hearing devices, prescriptive hearing devices. So um, if you're still struggling to hear and understand and these don't work, um, it is highly recommended you see an audiologist or a hearing professional to test your hearing and fit you with hearing devices. Um, I'm gonna click done. And again, it's asking me, do I wanna turn on media assistance? Media assistance is just gonna allow my music and phone calls, things like that, to be able to amplify those high frequencies that I'm missing. Um, some of the mid frequencies. So depending on where your loss is, it's gonna let you know. So after we've taken the hearing test, I'm just gonna click next. Um, I'm gonna turn on the hearing aid as well. So now it's turned on my microphones. I can hear things, it sounds a little different. Here Apple's just telling you, hey, just, it's gonna take some time just as if with, with hearing devices. Um, but if you ever wanna turn these features off, like the hearing aid feature and the assistant, just go back into your AirPod Pro 2s in the settings click on the assistant, we can turn off the hearing aid, we can turn off media assist, and it's just tapping that to turn them off. If I click on adjustments, I can go down here, I can make adjustments, I can start to amplify the, the sounds or the frequencies, I can balance it more from left to right, uh, I can change the tone. Um, there's just a lot of stuff that you can do here. Um, if I wanted to update my hearing test results, I could click right here where it says update hearing test results. Here it's gonna go through, it's gonna show me um, so I did the test yesterday. It said I had more hearing loss yesterday than I did today. Um, so I don't really know how accurate um, the test results on the iPhone are um, compared to like a, an audiogram or hearing test. If I do have a hearing test or an audiogram from my, pro, uh, my provider, I can click on add hearing test. Here it's gonna go through and give you two options. Do you wanna scan with the camera or do you wanna add manually? Um, if I click on add manually, I'm going to say, I'm gonna enter my results manually. It's gonna ask, okay, what symbols are on your chart? My chart has O's and X's. Um, which frequencies were tested? So if you look at an audiogram at the very bottom of the box, from left to right, it says 125 over to 8,000 Hertz or 8K. You're just gonna click on and select whichever frequencies they were, te were tested. Uh, here at Heroes of Hearing, we test all those frequencies so we know exactly what's going on. We don't skip any parts of the test. Um, now it's going to go through. It's going to tell me, hey, what's the value? Um, on the left side of the chart, you're going to see from negative 10 all the way down to about 120. That's your decibels or how loud the volume is. So you're just going to start to go through and you're going to put in where your hearing loss is. Okay, I'm just going to put stuff in so you can kind of see what it looks like here. And then once I've gone through and I've put all of those, um, those settings in, it's just gonna ask, all right, we're just gonna check your information. Does this look correct? So if it's not correct, you can click on any of the frequencies here and go in and, and make an adjustment. Once you're done, it's just gonna say, okay, this is where we're at. You can click done. Once you click done, it's gonna add it to this list. Um, and again, if we're gonna add one of the, the settings, then we would just go in and we would click on which one we did. And here's the one that I manually entered. You can see it says manually entered audiogram, whereas here it says Apple tested. There are other softwares. I tried Mimi years and years ago. Um, so you can get other apps, but now Apple's made it so you can just do everything straight in from the iPhone. Um, if I do click on add test results, let's say I wanna add it with the camera. 
Here it's just saying, hey, get your audiogram. And when you have your audiogram, um, it's gonna ask to, if you give the app permission to scan. I'm just gonna zoom in, hold it over here. Now it's taking a picture. I'm gonna save it, okay? And again, here's those test results. This is just kind of a dummy copy. And as you can tell here, it's gone in and it's put both of them in, left and right. So it's hard to see. It's hard to see, but left and right, they put it all in. So you just wanna double check, make sure everything's correct there. We'll click done. And you'll just continue and you'll add those into turning on the hearing aid feature and making sure that we've updated which one um, it was. So, you know, Apple's gonna try to put them in alphabetical or chronological order here up at the top. And those are the steps on how you can set up your iPhone and take a hearing test from the comfort of your own home. Let's just kind of go through why hearing tests are important. For many years, um, you've had to go into an audiologist or a hearing specialist. There's a few steps and a few things that they go through and do. One, they're looking inside your ears to make sure you don't have any wax buildup that, be that could be causing hearing loss. Um, two, they're just making sure that you're not having any type of disease or issue. Um, any hole or perforation in the eardrum, um, anything mechanically that could be happening with your auditory system that could be causing hearing loss. For most patients, when we look at hearing loss itself, um, it is it does happen inside the cochlea. So testing your hearing is very important. If you are age 50 or older, it is recommended that you have your hearing tested at least every few years. If you are, have normal hearing after age 50, then it's every about two to three years. And then if you do have hearing loss, it is recommended to have your hearing tested annually. Your hearing can change, and as your hearing changes, the brain starts to work harder to figure and decipher out what the words are, which has been linked to memory loss and Alzheimer's dementia and other things. So I've, I posted a video that kind of goes through and explains hearing loss right here. So if you want to click the little tab up at the top, that'll go through, help walk you through um, hearing loss in general and the millions and millions of people that are affected by it. Now, when we, we look at the importance of having your hearing tested, what's happening is your brain is trying to do as much as it can to decipher the words. So we're asking people to repeat or we're not hearing things as sharp or clear. Um, it does have a huge effect on the body. And that's why it's important that you have your hearing tested by a professional. Um, but Apple's made it possible for those to kind of do like a little hearing test uh, just in the, in the privacy of their own home, which is great for those that live in countries or in rural areas where it's hard for them to get in to see a professional. But it is highly recommended that you do see a professional to have your hearing tested. There's extra things that hearing loss can do. It can cause frustration, not just at home, but also at work. It can, can cause job loss. It can cause more anxiety. It can cause more isolation, and that isolation can cause more depression. So there's all of these gamut of factors that can affect our hearing and our, and our body and our health um, when it all comes to our hearing loss and our hearing ability. So there's a gamut of factors in regards to what hearing loss can do for our overall health. So again, I highly recommend that you see a professional to have your hearing tested. If you like this video, again, please comment below. Tell us if you have any other questions or any other videos you'd like us to put together. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, we'd greatly appreciate that. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.